the Owens House in Knox County. The Owens House, once located in Barberville, was built by John Allen Owens in 1894. Eventually, this historic Queen Anne house deteriorated and was torn down in 1977. Ruth Sanders, who lived in the Owens house in its later years, told fascinating stories about her experiences with the ghosts there in the house. At different times, there were ghostly beings in the dining room making sounds just as if someone were actually sitting at the table and eating a meal. The plates and knives and forks could be seen moving around. Coffee was smelled on many occasions, as though it were being brewed in the kitchen, yet no coffee was being made at all. Table wrappings were rather common. In one instance, the wrapping noise got so loud in the upstairs kitchenette that a person who was up there in the room became so scared that she ran out of the room. Cats were known to walk around certain areas in various rooms, but they would never walk across a particular spot in the upstairs hallway. There was something ghostly about that spot, and cats could sense it. A rocking chair in the parlor was known to rock and squeak by itself during the night. It was examined, but no clue was given as to why it made these ghostly sounds. Another example helps to demonstrate that the Owens house was haunted. It seems that one of the Owens' relatives of recent years was spending the night there and was sleeping in an upstairs room. The door to the room typically jammed and was hard to open. During the night when the relative was staying there, the door opened of its own accord on numerous occasions, even though the woman who was there in bed kept getting up to close the door. She finally brought her bulldog into the room to sleep at the foot of her bed, but the dog wouldn't stay there very long. As soon as the lights were turned out, the dog commenced a low growl, which meant that it felt threatened. The woman eventually gave up that same night and went downstairs to sleep. Not only were strange actions and ghostly noises felt and heard, the ghost of a woman was also seen on numerous occasions. In earlier years, Margaret Jean Owen's aunts, Ruth and Dorothy, were sharing the house, when one night they heard something making a great deal of noise in the bedroom next to theirs. They were both so frightened that they locked themselves in the room and sat up all night listening to the strange sounds. They claimed that it sounded like someone was throwing furniture around and breaking things. But the next morning when they got up and mustered enough courage to look, nothing was even out of place. Along about that same time, the Shadows, who owned Shadow Funeral Home across the street, saw a woman's ghost in the Owens house several times before they ever told anyone. I suppose they didn't want to frighten my Aunt Ruth Sanders, who was living there at the time, Margaret Owens stated. Owens then went on to comment, at another time, one of my cousins was there with her daughter, and the little girl asked her mother who was on the stairs. Mama, who is that, she wanted to know. When the mother looked, she just got just a glimpse of a gray skirt in the stairwell. The ghostly woman that they saw is called the Gray Lady, but it's not to be confused with the famous Gray Lady of Liberty Hall in Frankfurt. The Gray Lady of the Owens house was frequently seen in a white dress, surrounded by a red glow all around her. She was seen on various occasions standing in front of windows, walking on the stairway, or walking down the hallway toward the kitchen. No one is sure who the Gray Lady is, but it's believed that she was a sister of John Owens, who built the house, a sister who died in 1901 at a rather young age.